Have you ever wondered why copper, despite its vast applications, is not considered a precious metal? This question has puzzled many a mind, and today we delve into the mystery of copper. Copper, an element with a warm reddish hue, has been a companion to humanity for thousands of years. It's found in our homes, in our technology, even in the jewellery we adorn. Now think about this, aluminum at one point in history was deemed a precious metal. A metal that's so common today it's used to wrap our leftovers. Yet its status was elevated because refining it was nearly impossible. But copper, despite its ubiquity and importance, it's not treated with the same reverence. Copper, the humble metal, is integral to our beloved 14 karat gold. It's used to temper the purity of gold, lowering it from 24 carats to a more durable and practical 14. The result? A beautiful alloy that retains the golden allure while being stronger and more resilient. This metal called the cherished Alpha Aluminum Gold, a member of the Aluminum Bronze family, specifically UNSC 60600. Copper being over 95% or less, with no other traces of any other contaminants, or it becomes something else. This alloy, ISS, used for this purpose, also much more purposes, however for another time, this alloy mimics the magic sheen of gold under just the right conditions and ratios. Yet it's not easily accessible to the public, other than our own eBay store where it is one of our very popular items and requires high temperatures and very pure ingredients to make. Link below at the bottom of the description. The importance of copper is unlike any other metal we know of to date. Also pretty to boot and super useful, into water systems, to electric, to heaters, to any appliance. Copper even finds its way into our currencies. It's used in bullions and stocks and was traditionally used in coinage. However, its abundance prevents it from being classified as precious. Let's take a moment to compare copper with universally recognized precious metals. Gold, silver, platinum and palladium, they are rare or are seen as alternative currencies or both. Copper, on the other hand, is becoming increasingly scarce. The yield from each unit of ore mined is dwindling and miners are in a frenzy to locate new supplies. So with such expansive uses, why isn't copper considered a precious metal? The answer may not be as straightforward as you think. To answer this question, let's delve into the world of precious metals. We often gaze in awe at the lustrous allure of gold, silver, platinum and palladium. These metals have captivated human interest for centuries, prized not only for their beauty but also their rarity. The word precious itself is a testament to their limited availability and their high demand in various sectors, ranging from jewellery to electronics and even as alternative currencies in uncertain financial times. Gold, the epitome of precious metals, is cherished for its resistance to tarnish, its malleability and its radiant hue. The scarcity of gold coupled with its versatile uses has made it a symbol of wealth and power throughout history. Then we have silver, another precious metal which while more abundant than gold is highly valued for its excellent conductivity and its role in photography, jewellery and cutlery. Its value is also influenced by its rarity, and although it is more plentiful than gold, it's still far from common. Platinum, a rare silvery white metal, is treasured for its resistance to corrosion. Its scarcity is such that it's even rarer than gold. Palladium, a member of the platinum group of metals, is valued for its ability to absorb vast amounts of hydrogen. Its rarity and high demand in the automotive and electronics industry make it a precious metal too. Now, let's turn our attention to copper. This reddish-brown metal is known for its high thermal and electrical conductivity. It's used extensively in industries such as construction, power generation and telecommunications. But unlike the metals we've just discussed, Copper is plentiful. It's not scarce but common, which is why it's not considered precious in the traditional sense. Even though copper is integral to our everyday lives and is becoming increasingly scarce due to high demand, it is still far from being as rare as gold, silver, platinum or palladium. As we can see, the abundance of copper sets it apart from traditionally precious metals. Its classification as a precious metal would drastically impact its price and in turn our daily lives. But that's a story for another time. But could copper's status be changing? A question that echoes through the halls of the economic world. 
As we delve deeper into this conundrum, we find ourselves entangled in a web of supply and demand. Copper, a metal once deemed abundant, is now facing a crisis of scarcity. Picture this. In the year 2010, the top 15 producers' reserves boasted an average yield of 1.2%. Yet, fast forward to the end of 2016, this figure had plummeted to 0.72%. Quite an alarming drop, wouldn't you agree? This decline in yield is not due to a lack of effort. Miners are working tirelessly, digging deeper, exploring further, in a desperate attempt to unearth new supplies. On the flip side of the coin, we have demand. And oh boy, is it surging. A world increasingly dependent on technology, a world that is electrifying everything, is a world that is demanding more and more copper. This escalating demand is placing a tremendous burden on the shoulders of our once plentiful friend, copper. Now, let's pause for a moment and ponder. We tend to associate precious metals with scarcity, don't we? Gold, silver, platinum, palladium, they're all treasured for their rarity. So if we apply the same logic to copper, which is undeniably becoming scarcer, shouldn't we consider it a precious metal too? But here's the catch. Copper is still relatively accessible. It's woven into the fabric of our daily lives, in our pipes, our wires, our coins. So to suddenly elevate its status to that of a precious metal would send shockwaves through the global economy. It's a move that could enrich some while burdening many. With these changes, could copper become a precious metal? A question that continues to spark debate. The evolution of copper's value is a fascinating narrative of supply, demand and the dynamic nature of our global economy. So, what would happen if we suddenly classified copper as a precious metal? We're about to explore this intriguing hypothetical scenario. In the world of economics, reclassification isn't a casual affair. It's akin to shaking up the very foundations upon which our modern industries are built. If copper were to be reclassified as a precious metal, the implications would be nothing short of seismic. Consider this. The people who've been stockpiling copper whether in the form of bullion or copper-infused items, would wake up to a financial windfall. Overnight, their assets would skyrocket in value. It's like hitting the jackpot without even buying a lottery ticket. But this economic shift wouldn't be a blessing for everyone. In fact, the ripple effects could cause significant upheaval for those who rely on copper for their daily needs. Consider industries like construction and electricity. Copper is a key player in these fields, used for everything from plumbing to wiring. Suddenly these industries would find themselves grappling with a drastic surge in costs. The price of laying down a copper pipe or wiring a new home would soar, and these increased costs would inevitably trickle down to consumers. Imagine paying astronomical amounts for basic amenities like plumbing or electricity all because the copper used in these services is now deemed precious. And let's not forget the potential impact on global markets. Copper is a commodity traded worldwide, and its reclassification could send shockwaves through commodity exchanges. Investors, traders and even governments would have to adjust their strategies to accommodate this new reality. The implications extend beyond economics, Reclassifying copper could also have environmental and societal impacts. We could see increased mining activity with all the associated environmental concerns, as well as potential social unrest in copper-rich regions. As we can see, the implications of such a change could be far-reaching. It's a fascinating thought experiment, but one that underscores the complex intertwined nature of our global economy. So the next time you come across a copper coin or a copper pipe, take a moment to appreciate this humble metal and its profound importance to our world. As we conclude our exploration of copper's fascinating story, remember that knowledge is power. We've taken a deep dive into the world of metals, unraveling the mysteries that lie within the Earth's crust and our own economic structures. Copper, a metal so common yet so critical, has been the star of our journey. We've compared copper to its illustrious counterparts, gold, silver, platinum and palladium, traditionally hailed as the precious metals. Yet we've discovered that copper holds its own weight in value, not in rarity, but in its ubiquity and versatility. In the realm of evolution, copper's value has seen a dynamic shift. 
Once an abundant resource now, the yield of copper from each unit of ore mined is dwindling, falling from an average of 1.2% in 2010 to a mere 0.72% by the end of 2016. This scarcity has miners scrambling for new supplies, signalling a potential redefinition of copper's precious status. But what would reclassification imply? If copper were to be declared a precious metal overnight, it would create a seismic shift in the economic landscape. Some would become rich instantaneously, while others may find the cost of essential commodities, like plumbing and electrical supplies, skyrocketing. The story of copper serves as a reminder of the intricate dance between supply, demand and value. It's a lesson in economics, geology and history intertwined. A testament to the power of knowledge and understanding. So let's continue to unravel these complexities, to question what we know and to seek out the hidden truths in our world. Remember, understanding these complexities can empower us to make informed decisions. Please subscribe for more insightful content and until next time, keep learning.